great example of a problem that looks a little scary at first, but a picture can really help you through it. So bear with me as I read the entire problem with you. The problem says, two boats, boat A and boat B, are anchored a distance of 24 meters apart. The incoming waterways force the boats to oscillate up and down. When boat A is at its peak, boat B is at its lowest point, and there's one cross between the boats. The vertical distance between the boats is 18 meters at this point. Determine the wavelength and amplitude. So look at the wavelength and amplitude for these waterways that are forcing these boats to go up and down. So much information, so necessary to have a picture to solve this problem, at least for me. So let's start with boat A. We know it's at the highest point when boat B is at the lowest point. Okay, so let's kind of put boat A up here. Meanwhile, boat B is at the bottom. So we'll just pick a spot for boat B and you know, maybe put it like there. And that's boat B, the bottom down there. Um, we can't just connect them with a simple picture of a wave like that because we don't really know if there's a, a one cross, two cross, three cross between them, and no cross between them until you read it real carefully. And this particular version of this problem, it says there's one cross, one high point in the middle here. So I need to make a picture of a wave that includes a high point and then comes back down for boat B to be at its lowest point. So maybe something like that. Mm, like the way that's not very symmetric. I'm going to do that a little bit better. So down, up, down. Okay, so now it's true that boat A is at the high point, B is at the low point, and we satisfy that condition that there's one crest in the middle. So a little bit of a clear picture of what's going on. Obviously my boats are getting tossed about a little bit extremely, but it definitely shows what's happening. There's also a couple numbers we're given. Um, we know the horizontal distance between the boats. We know the vertical distance between the boats. So let's label both of those. That vertical distance, that's 18 meters. Sort of a height. And that horizontal distance is 24 meters. And so we're looking for wavelengths, we're looking for amplitude. Obviously this vertical information is going to help us with amplitude, this horizontal information is going to help us with wavelength. Amplitude is actually probably the easiest and fastest thing because it's not the distance from crest to trough, from highest to lowest point, it's actually half of that distance. If you take that sort of resting position middle line and go to here, that's the amplitude. So what we're given here is 18 meters. That's not the amplitude, but half of it sure is. So the amplitude is 9 meters. That's the simple part to solve. The harder one to solve is using this length, if you will, of 24 meters and looking for the wavelength. And that 24 meters is not the wavelength. But what we can do is we can look at this picture and say, okay, I'm given this length, which we'll call L, and I want to know how many waves that represents. So I'm just going to count and fill in right here the number of waves in my picture. So if I start here at the crest and I go to the next trial, that's half of a wave. And then I go to this crest, that's one wave. And then I go back to that lowest point, that's another half wave, that's one and a half waves. So in this case, in my picture, I have one and a half waves showing. So I filled in my blank. So again, what this means is that in my picture, this length represents one and a half waves. Actually, I know how long the length is. So given that 24 meters is representing one and a half waves, I can just solve mathematically and figure out that the wavelength then is 16 meters. You can kind of double check. That means from here to here is 16 meters. And then there's another half a wave, which would be like another 8 meters. And sure enough, that does add up correctly to 24 meters. Okay, so key things in uh, a problem like this, absolutely drawing a picture, making sure you know how many crests are in the middle, and then setting up L equals blank waves and filling in the blank from the picture. In this case, it was one and a half waves. All right, good luck.